What a beauty. Woo! You can certainly see why they call them white lip pythons with that white lip. And I saw that one coming. I knew that was coming. I, right when I said it was tame, it was good to try to get me some. <laughs> Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. As for me, I've been going so big. I think I'm just gonna take a mellow day. Maybe just, get the heck out of here. I'm in Madison, Wisconsin, outside a place called the Reptile Rapture. I'm gonna go in and check this place out, see some really cool reptiles before making my final trek back to my home. Tell you what, places like this just get me so excited. Reptile Rapture is awesome. It's again right outside of Madison, Wisconsin. If you're ever in there, you gotta stop it. I mean, look at these cages. It's just awesome. Just it's almost like a little mini zoo, to be honest with you. And it's really clean. The animals are unbelievably healthy. Uh, this is top-notch store here for sure. Gotta check it out. I'm so happy I stopped. And uh, I talked to Richard really quick and uh, he's gonna show us a few things uh, back in his breeding center. Some really cool animals so I am super excited. Again when I first stopped here I was like I hope that I'll get a chance to even talk to anyone. I didn't know if anyone would even be here for me to talk to so I'm super excited. So let's go meet up with Richard and uh, go look at some cool snakes. What do you guys think? Alright so this is the man here. What's <laughs> up? Yeah, man. Uh, so he is gonna give us a little bit of a tour not only uh, we've seen his shop, which is amazing, but he's got some really cool animals in the back. And by the way, guys, I'm going to put down in the description, he's got a YouTube channel, so you can check his stuff out. I'll also put all his social media down stuff down there, too. So give him a follow and all that good stuff for him being such a great host to us. So what do you got for us? Ah, uh, got a variety of different things. I mean, we can pull out uh, some of my breeder white lip pythons. Um, Breeder blackhead python. Pull that out. Take a look at that. Sounds like good. To see that. I'm not going to say no to that. That's for dang sure. So let's go take a look at these. Man. That's awesome. Python. This is Mr. Awesome. This is a blackheaded python. But you know, I've showed you guys many blackheaded pythons before. But look at the. You can understand why it's named Mr. Awesome. I mean, that color is absolutely incredible. Literally, the only other blackheaded python that I've seen that looks anything like this is my buddy Troy in Denver's down at K Brothers Pythons down in. Australia. They work with some of the baddest black-headed pythons on the planet. They're and awesome. uh, I tell you what, the, this thing is sick. I, like I said, in this country, I've never seen a black-headed python that has that kind of hypomelanistic look to it. That is cool. So, so dude, I hope you can breed this thing. I mean, so you got babies, right? Yeah, yeah, we've got babies already. I got one of them in the enclosure down below down there. So with any luck, uh, in a couple years, maybe he will father a clutch and maybe produce some more Mr. Awesomes because that thing is so cool. Isn't that thing? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about that animal. I think it's one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. I say it all the time that this is one of my favorite snakes, but I honestly mean it this time. I swear to God. This is actually a white lip python or what they call a D. Alberts python, and I absolutely adore these things. I used to breed them years ago, and I hate myself for getting rid of them, and now I want some more back. And as a matter of fact, when Richard produces this year, I'm gonna buy some babies from him because I've gotta have them back. One of the things that's incredible about the white lip pythons are just their iridescence. I mean, they are just so shiny. I mean, this is really what you see when you see a rainbow snake for sure. I mean, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Tell you what, not too many people are breeding these guys anymore. So the fact that Richard is breeding them is really cool and it's great to have a chance to come across them. And again, sometimes they can be a little bit nippy, but you can see this guy is super, super cool. So I'm loving that for sure. Look at how gorgeous. You can certainly see why they call him white lip python with that white lip. And I saw that one coming. I knew that was coming. I, right when I said it was tame, it was good to try to get me. So. <laughs> what a cheeky little monkey that guy is, huh? What a beautiful. Beauty. Woo! Come on, you silly. All right, guys, so I tell you what, I think I'm gonna put this little chicky monkey back before I get bit in the face again. So this is, <laughs> I tell you what, that is such an awesome snake.
This one is a truly spectacular snake. This is actually what they call a blue beauty because they has that really amazing bluish tone to them. And uh, and again, you know, some of these, these are all rat snakes. Some of them get much, much larger. You know, like the freeze I can get nine foot plus. Uh, the, the blues usually stay a little bit more slender and a little bit smaller, but tell me a little bit about what's up with these guys because man, they are so these cool. These guys man. are awesome. This is actually one of the first snakes I ever bred. This is what started it all. It's yeah. these blue beauties for me. I just love the awesome blue colors on them. So I know you just moved here recently in the last you know year, uh, but how long have you been a store? Because I mean, this is pretty impressive. Um, we've been a store for eight years. Eight but years. We used to breed out of the house. All this stuff here in my breeding room used to be in my house. And right. we used to breed out of the house and I started a website and started doing shows around the Midwest and traveling and just got the word out, selling these snakes online, and next thing we know, my wife and I are like, why don't we just open a store? <laughs> open a store. You know, nobody's doing a store around here just dedicated to reptiles. I'm yeah. sure you've got to have a lot of families that just come in to look, yeah. right? Yeah, all the time, and that's great. Like today, I'll be posting some photos up of some families that came in, first time looking at snakes, the child's never held a snake before, and yeah. they wanted their child to you know, experience a snake, and we took some photos of them holding some ball pythons and some rosy boas, and yeah. And that's where it's at. I mean, literally, this is, I always tell people, you know, places like Richard's here really starts the passion. You know, you get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people each week come into facilities like this and they get their first experience with reptiles and they get the bug and they start going, oh my God, I gotta have more. And that is awesome, man, yeah. I tell you. It feels great. Yeah. I mean, that's why we do it. I mean, we're here, we're open seven days a week and we do what we do because we love it. Yeah, we work hard, but it's really a labor of love and that's yeah. not really work so this is awesome man I don't know what you guys think but this place is sweet I could stay here all day uh, unfortunately I do still have a seven hour drive so pretty soon I'm gonna have to get this thing wrapped up and get on the road because Lori's probably gonna be like where is he, he she's gonna lock the door and I'm not gonna be able to get in so uh, listen I'm gonna just kind of chill around here for a few more minutes and I'm gonna hit the road and finally get home to my family remember the other day when I had Ricky out and I was telling you that he was a dwarf but he was park mainland and that's why he was about about, you know, nine, 10 foot long. And I mentioned that there were super dwarf retics that stay a lot smaller. Well, guess what? This is a super dwarf retic right here, but this is a, a pure super dwarf. And believe it or not, this thing is several years old. So this is a full grown adult super dwarf retic. So again, what I was saying about my big retics is the fact that you could get a retic just like this that only stays five foot or so. Well, this is the example right here. So this is, this is amazing. I just had to show you guys when I saw it. I was like, you know, because I've been talking about the dwarfs and the super dwarfs, I had to make sure to show you this is it. This is an adult super dwarf. So, all right guys, that's it. That's, I promise. That's a lot. Okay. I might show another animal, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, as much as I hate to, I would like to hang out here forever. I do have to hit the road because I have a very long road trip ahead of me and I really wanna sleep in my own bed tonight. I've been on the road so much lately, it's not even funny, but we have some really big trips coming up. In about a week, we head down to Florida and we are gonna do some insane things. I cannot wait to share it. Then we're in Chicago, then we're back home for a couple days and then I'm off to New York City. Thank you so much, my man. Thank this you. Is awesome, man. You keep, up the, yeah, you keep up the good work, Appreciate man. This place it. is awesome, man. Please. All right, let's get out of here. Holy cow guys, was that awesome or what? This trip has been so amazing. It certainly exceeded my expectations. I tell you, you know, Alligator Alley was way cooler than I expected and Orlando, the owner, treated us so good. And then when I heard about Reptile Rapture, I thought, yeah, that would be pretty cool. But it was way cooler than I even expected. And Richard was so cool showing us all his personal animals. What an amazing, I'm gonna be on a high the whole way home. Let me know guys, have you ever been to some places really cool like that tell me some places that you've seen that maybe I can go visit because trust me I want to see more places like this this is so awesome but regardless I've got a seven hour drive home it's gonna be kind of uh, a long long trip and I always vlog like road trips I'm not gonna do that this time as a matter of fact I think I'm gonna be home this quick and I'm back, of course. I'm with Lori now, and we're gonna head out and do a couple errands. I uh, gotta pick up hay for the tortoise and the blue tongue skinks. We're gonna pick up some AstroTurf, which will help in the breeding of blue tongue skinks. I'll explain more about that in the later days. Uh, but regardless, long drive home, but it's so good to be back. Right, Lori? It's great to have you back. Oh, look at that. That would be a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, this thing. <laughs>
Did you stop? <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> Whoa, he's kicking. Careful. Kick. <laughs> oh, look at Laurie. Look, Laurie, everywhere we go, there's cocks. You're an idiot. I don't know why. I, I really do love this store. Every time I come here, I just think it's awesome. Just all the crazy farm. I think I'm supposed to be a farmer. I really do. I believe I should be a farmer. <laughs> well, you kind of are. That's perfect. Look at it says the muddy girl. <laughs> All right, stop. <clears throat> Do they have a weight limit? No, they're only 400 bucks. We should get one right now. This one's stop. <laughs> Pretty sure they're smart enough not to have gas in them. <laughs> you idiot. Guys, I hear some chirping. Did you hear it? The chicken. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Oh, little chick. Come here, little chick. <laughs> Look at how cute these little guys are. <laughs> Give it a kiss. No, I'm not gonna kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> Guinea hens. Look at how cool those are. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Can I have one, Lori? No. Can I have one? No. Can I has one? No. Look at how cute. I hope it looks funny. <laughs> Get in there. Bye. Tiny monkey butt. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get it for you. <laughs> so it's been a definitely eventful couple of days. I've traveled a ton of miles, done a lot of filming and just kind of experienced things and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. You know, I travel a lot because I have a desire to and a curiosity to see things and experience things. And that's one of the things with this vlog. I, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I want to bring you guys along. You know, I know not everyone can do the things that I do and travel and see the things and even when you do maybe you won't have access to things that sometimes I'm fortunate enough to have access to. So that's kind of the whole concept behind this vlog was my ability to go to these places and bring you guys along so you could experience it and hopefully your curiosity will be piqued and maybe you'll try harder to one day venture out and experience a few of these things and in the meantime you can hopefully enjoy them through my eyes. I hope you guys are enjoying that. Let me know what you think if you enjoy this type of adventure. We are home for the next four or five days. Then I'm off to Florida and doing a whole bunch of really cool stuff in Florida. I cannot wait to share that with you. I fly right from Florida off to Chicago where I'll be doing the NARBC Tinley Show outside of Chicago. And then I'm home for a few days and then I'm off to New York City at the end of the month to do some pretty cool collabs and also have some various meetings and stuff like that. Regardless, again, I really appreciate you guys more than I can ever express. Your support just means the world to me. I hope you have an amazing day. Be kind to somebody. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.